All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, okay, here, once I get here is a neat video ball. where Holly gave me a Terminator X to pull a truck out of the junkyard, hook it up to, start it, and run it, show you guys how easy it is to do. And this box of goodies, this entire Terminator kit they gave me, we're going to do a giveaway with in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for some details at the end. And please enjoy the show. I'm here. Why don't you come on over here so that people can see? Oh. Well, my kit that Keith sent me has the square style plug, like the old MSD, whatever you want to call it, plug. And this has the stock injectors on it. And Holly sells a fuel injector harness with that plug on it, but I couldn't get them in time. So just for fun, we're going to put Snake Eater 1500s and the completely stock setup and just show everybody how easy it is to still run a giant injector. It'll be a, a little bit of a double test, right? System's easy to use, giant injector, no problem, blah, blah, blah. Are you all right? You're sweating a little bit. You had to put like 10 minutes of work into this so far. Yeah. Yep, so we'll uh, just drop these injectors in and start plugging the stuff in and then get a battery and- So just to show, here's the harness and here is everything new in box. Yep. So now we just came here with everything. Yep, some wiring stuff and the holly box. So we'll get it hooked up and get it going. And so it's easy to tell because they purposely set the harness up like this because this is where idle air control and throttle position, everything's on this side of the motor. Yeah. So this is the ignition harness for this side of the motor. So it's one of those, it says ignition odd, but if you don't know that oh, this yeah, is 1357. In the spark there then. Yep, yeah, so this guy goes right into the coil pack harness. Yeah. And then we gotta attach this guy to the back of the head. So those are gonna be the difficult things. We'll talk about them, but we probably won't. Just show me straining <laughs> to plug it in. I think people wanna see you strain. <laughs> I know I wanna see you work. Uh, okay. <laughs> so here's the, you just take these guys and you go TPS. Plug it in. Click, idle air, click, Then there's a coolant temp sensor that comes down here and plugs into the coolant temp sensor right here. Took it off, did I? Nope, the temp sensor is still here. <laughs> so just a little feedback on this truck, it's a 2500 01. and I believe 01, it only came in because it completely rusted out the fuel lines. Everything's rotted, uh, everything. frame, all the lines, okay. yeah he said you would turn the key and it would just shower. <laughs> fuel out of everything. Yeah. <laughs> so then we'll just plug in. Classically you would put the ECU in the car but we're just gonna lay it out this way it'll be more fun that way. So then yeah here's the coil pack harness for this side and literally all we did is unplug the stock stuff and then we're just laying this in. So here's the map sensor so we'll go through that and this is for the, all the injectors. Got the injector harness right here. So this is what I was talking about, how they have a square plug. Oh yeah, you just push on them. So they what we off. did uh, is we just put, I had Snake Eater 1500s laying around. Uh -huh. So that's what we tossed in. And then, where are the numbers at? Five, seven, so these go on that side. And these are, so two is in the front. Two, four, Doesn't matter too much because we're not doing individual cylinder trim, but the injector timing and stuff does matter. So, I'm trying to get them plugged in right. I'm plug in this stuff. One and three. So, one is in the front. Three. Five. Yep, five and seven. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've actually never done, Holly has a thing where they have a built-in map sensor on the ECU. You don't even need to use the one in the car. So I'm gonna try to use that this time. I haven't done it yet. I always use like the three bar because I do turbo stuff. 
That's for the O2 sensor. This is for the fuel pump and stuff. This is the extra stuff. That's what my thing plugs into. My flex and alt harness. Plugs into that guy. Pretty cool new thing on the harnesses. All right, so that's all done. So all we gotta do is get the rest of this stuff plugged in. So that's for like fuel, manifold temp sensor we don't have. We don't even need to use it, to be honest. Cam position, we need to plug that in. Cam and crank, we need to plug in. Oil pressure, I wonder if this one has the right, some of the year trucks have this plug for oil pressure. Some of them do. So we'll see if this truck does. Classically, it's a much wider, like a different plug, but Holly puts this same plug for all their sensors. So we'll, uh, we'll dig that up. And then uh, we'll just try to get this. I'm gonna rip a connector off. So we gotta get the, uh, the real difficult one is gonna be the cam position sensor behind the, I was thinking about actually pulling the intake off to get it but I think I can just reach it. And then the crank, like I said, we'll probably have to put the truck up on the lift a little bit to... No, we can get that up on the Plug that guy in. Hold on, wire stuck. Okay, cool. Hello. Matt, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. Don't trip. I'm not gonna trip. Right here. These wow, were rotted. I'm, just going, I'm going over the whole thing. So they put a... Because it's all dark down nice here. Nice rubber. <laughs> Up in a frame. Yeah, some nice stuff. Some... Yeah, this truck is not a rust. Problem. No, all. not at all. That U bolt is just like paper. It works more. I'm gonna stay out of your way. You stay out of your video. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? He did most of the work. Uh, come over here. Okay. So we laid the harness in. We connected everything, and then uh, I did an impromptu fuse panel here. So we plugged this guy in, and then uh, all you have to do is do the. There's a wizard to set up the engine. So you could say, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy on this car because it's only set up for an LS. Normally you would have to choose like your firing order if it was like whatever. Yeah, we'll just do cubic inches. So it's, this is like a, I might need to pen, my fingers are so dirty. 360-ish cubes. This is a six liter, right? Yeah, 2,500. Yeah, you can do this too. Three, six, oh. I hit cancel, what a douche. Three, six, oh. Save. Cool, next. Idle speed, 400, well, about, what do you want? 700? Save. Next. Yeah, next. 24 tooth, yes. Uh, other. We're gonna choose FIC. We put Snake Eater 1500s in. Power adder type, no. Drive by wire, no. Trans, no. Start. So now it's dumping the tune file in that we just created. We'll do this quick too. They want to make sure you set up the throttle position sensor so that you don't go wide open and drive through your wall at your house. Oh, okay. All right. And then, uh, I think I don't have the map plugged in. I have to use, uh, we'll plug that in real quick. This guy, I just need a vacuum line to hook up to this. We just gotta hook that up quick if you wanna <laughs> chuck. So, uh, we didn't have time to wire this quick, so we're just gonna Milwaukee battery it. So that's running the fuel pump. I don't wanna mess it up for you. 
All right, we'll turn it on. Oh yeah, they're all obsessed with that. All right, so here we go. Coolant, idle air position, battery voltage. It's in gear? Yep. <laughs> it's in gear. I'm glad it's still holding. Did, did you hook, did you hook it up? <laughs> Try it again. Yep. Milwaukee fuel pump. Pretty cool. <laughs> that's funny, that's the whole fuse panel for the car now. Yep. That's how easy it is to This is It's just a little bit lean from the uh Yeah, totally lean. I'll change uh I'll change the injector size. See if we can trick it. Now that's this isn't the right injector data. It's literally just, I chose FIC 1650s. Right. Because they're close to the size of yeah. the snake eaters and it still runs. It's pretty crazy, right? So if we go to tuning, fuel, well, let's go, where is it? Is it under a tuning system, fuel setup? It isn't bad yet. 152 pounds. Oh, well, it's at a higher fuel pressure too. We're at 60 pounds. So we'll save that. Yep. And then we'll drop the to Now nah, we'll leave that go. We'll just set the reset the base and see what it does. Let's save. Okay, hit home. We'll power cycle it. And we'll start it again. Charlie, your foot's on four. Do, 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 monitor, dash three. This motor sounds better than those rusty injectors, right? Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a whole nother level of choo choo boy. Yeah, it's whistling bad to the <laughs> belt or something. Everything's rubbing. Or oh, the power steering or the oil cooler's fucked up. <laughs> it sounds like your power steering pump. Yep. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, I hope you liked this video. It was an idea that I had kicked back and forth between Holly and I. We just wanted to take a regular vehicle of some sort and show you how easy it is to just throw this. I, we literally took this, this truck was sitting in Collis Truck Parts Junkyard. And I'm like, hey, do you have a running truck? He's like, I got a 2500 that's completely rotted to nothing, but it did run. So we just laid the harness in like you saw and I thought it would be neat because of the I didn't have the correct injector clips I'm like well what would also be neat is to take a completely stock engine and put a gigantic injector in it run through the wizard and start the truck and show you that actually what's funny is the base map that was that it generated was just slightly lean at idle it would just take a little bit of uh, a little bit of fuel tuning and it would be perfect it would run and drive and do nasty burnouts so he brought this rotted truck in and then we replaced that rubber fuel line to get fuel up. And then we took the stock harness, just picked it up and shoved it out of the way, put the stock Holly harness in, plugged everything in. And you can see, 
Uh, I literally have two power sources, one for the ECU key on and one for the relay power feed for the coils and injectors. Uh, we plugged everything in, we ran through the wizard and we started the truck and it ran and it has 150 pound injectors in it and it's a completely stock junkyard six liter. And it actually ran awful when we fired it on the stock computer and it's because the injectors were completely filled with the rust. As you can see, the we had to replace the fuel lines and everything because everything was completely rotted. So yeah, it's funny to see that it starts, runs, everything uh, just off the handheld, no laptop, no nothing. Internal map sensor, everything is working the way Holly intended. And the really cool thing about this, the whole secret to the end of this video is we're gonna give away this entire setup that we used to show on the junkyard engine. So I'm gonna start up something. I think we're gonna give it away on, I think I've done YouTube and Facebook. So we're gonna figure it out, but I believe Holly and I went back and forth and they said that I should do a YouTube giveaway and we should just make sure that the person is subscribed to Holly and Sloppy Mechanics on YouTube and just make a post on the giveaway video and they, you know, we choose a winner and you get to have this ECU that fired this junkyard motor. It is a Terminator X that can do transmission control. It's drive by cable and it has the square EV1 style injector harness on it. So this is not the giveaway video, but we're going to do a giveaway next. <laughs> so in between my updates and some other stuff, uh, it'll be like official Holly giveaway announcement video comment here to enter the contest kind of thing will happen so i just wanted to share that very exciting awesome of them to provide this to well we just hooked up to a junkyard motor and fired it and everything worked and also incredible to uh, thank you for all the help call us truck parts those guys are always willing to help out they thought it would be cool to see the product also if you guys need anything, please feel free to hit up Collis Truck Parts. The last probably 10 engines I bought are all from Craig at Collis Truck Parts because uh, basically the, the motors years ago, if you guys have been following Sloppy for a while, we used to get them for like 80 bucks and then it was 180 bucks and then it started to be 280 bucks. And the issue there is we would pull it ourselves and you never know if the motor was good or not. So you'd get it home and then you'd find it was a glitter bomb and everything. There was some other issues with it. So what's nice is I don't have the time or the desire to mess with them as much. I just rather know there's a good running one and pick it up and use it immediately. So that's why I've just been using uh, Collis for all the rest of my projects. The, the motor that's in the G is Collis short block and everything. So I just like to use them. A lot of other people like to use them. So I'd like to say, please consider them first. They're, they've always worked with me. They're incredible. A ton of people from the Valley work with them also. So hit them up if you have LS, truck, even uh, if you're a Ford Dodge guy, they have that stuff too. So anyway, more details on the giveaway. Thank you, Craig at Collis. And thank you, Holly, for you know giving me the opportunity to mess with this stuff and give it away to people. So thanks again.